All right, coming up next is a middleweight matchup between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Robert Whittaker. All right, here he is, the UFC middleweight king, the Reaper, Robert Whittaker. Back-to-back -back wins over Yoel Romero. Hard to quantify, though, how difficult those 50 minutes against Yoel Romero were and what type of toll it might take on Whittaker here moving forward. Yes, but after the Romero fights, there was a lot of time in between fights for Whittaker, which allows you to recover because you hear the stories about the guys that say they fight Yoel. No one's like him. No one feels like right. him. But Robert Whittaker was able to manage that over the course of two very, very difficult fights. And he was able to do that because of the fantastic cardio, the great wrestling mentality, and also the unbelievable striking and the ability to stare down the barrel of a loaded shotgun in your yeah. Romero's left hand and feel safe. That allowed Whitaker to keep his belt in both of those instances. And we knew from his debut well that he would be something special. He has certainly been every... To never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you, the UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken this sport by storm. It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set. An ability to stay upright. Yeah. An ability to deal with the pressure of wrestlers. An ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you planned. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight. And most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 24 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert Whittaker! And now he's introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Well, I might need to borrow that in Halo DC before we get through this one. Round one is underway between Robert Whitaker and Israel Adesanya. Whitaker was born in New Zealand. But he claims Australia and, of course, Adesanya trying to come up large for the Kiwis here tonight. And Adesanya has taken offense to that because he loves New Zealand. He cannot understand how Whitaker, who was born there, doesn't represent the country. <laughs> he has an opportunity to really stick it to Robert tonight in this fight. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up in the boxing. And that is on full display right now. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and might as well use it. Oh, big left hand there. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Just out of range with that right hook. What a punch. Another shot lands upstairs. 
All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. And he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. Back to the jab. Jab there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, beautiful technique there on that side kick. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did. He executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Round two underway. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. How good is that right hand? to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And he finally is softening up to that Bobby Knuckles moniker. I mean, they print the shirts. It's a great nickname. I don't know why he fought it. It's a fantastic nickname, and it fits him to a T. Bobby Knuckles, we all love you. We all love that nickname, buddy. Right hand on point. Outstanding kick there by Adesanya. Lands a landing right hand upstairs. Oh. Oh. Oh, well done moving ahead there to slip down left hand. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Superman punch lands! So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And connecting with 48% accuracy against Robert Whittaker. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Whitaker gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all levels. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. Adesanya's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Beautiful strike. Ooh. 
is throwing a fast straight car jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big punch, man. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's moving high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, that was a great lead left. His opponent was not ready for it. His opponent thought jab. He landed that beautiful straight left hand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Right punches there. Whitaker's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, so 74 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And unofficially landing with 51% accuracy against Robert Whittaker. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Unable to land with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice calf kick there by Robert Whitaker. Every strike you would want in your arsenal is a world-class. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 55 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last of Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.